Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to deal with patchy eyeshadows. The struggle is real. Hey guys, before we get in the video, I just want to let you know I am aware that the intro is not in focus. I don't know what happened, but the rest of the video is, so bear with me. I apologize. And there's nothing worse than getting a palette and there are shades in there that you love and the shimmers are amazing, but like some of the mattes are just patchy and you can't work with them and you need a different palette to get your crease colors and that's just a pain. Um, that happened to me recently with the Morphe 35M Boss Mood Palette. I tried making this palette work. I couldn't make it work. Every single time I used it, I had the worst worst eyeshadow looks. It looked like I was a two-year-old trying to blend my eyeshadows. And this is a gorgeous palette. And the shimmers are amazing. But I couldn't make it work and I was getting really frustrated and I didn't know if it was the formula or if it was me or maybe I got like a, a bad palette because I saw other people using it and they didn't seem to be struggling as much as I was. Um, but I don't have a lot of experience with Morphe eyeshadows other than the Jaclyn Hill ones, and I know that those have a different formula. So, I have steered clear of Morphe shadows in the past because they have parabens in them, and my skin is sensitive, so, like, I'll get really itchy if a product has paraben in it, and I didn't want to put them on my eyes and have me want to itch my eyes all the time. So, that's why I've never messed with Morphe shadows, but the newer shadows I don't believe still do because they don't do that to me. I don't really get super itchy. Um, and know for sure the Jaclyn Hill ones do not have parabens in them. So I decided to give this palette a try and then I was kind of bummed out because they were patchy. Anyway, so I was watching Belle Jordan and if you guys don't know her, I will link her channel down below. I had reviewed a collab that she did with Deck of Scarlet a few months back. Um, she had a palette and I reviewed it. And that was the first time I came across her, was reviewing her palette. Um, she's so talented and so beautiful. But anyway, I was watching one of her videos and she was blending her shadow in a way I had never seen before. And I thought it was so interesting and I was like... I wonder if that technique would work using the 35M palette and, and help combat the patchiness. So I decided to give it a try and lo and behold, it worked. And not only did it work, but like this eye look, every time I wear it, I get so many compliments on it. And then I had it on in my, at the end of the Lancome review video and you guys were like, what is that look? I want to see it. So I decided to recreate it in this video and then show you guys kind of the technique that I translated into uh, this look so that I was able to use these shadows. If you do end up getting this palette or you have this palette and you kind of are struggling with the patchiness as well, hopefully this will help you or any palette really because I also uh, tried it with this palette because I mentioned in my review video that these mattes are very patchy as well. And, I mean, these shimmers are on another level, but if I were to pack this and travel, I would have to pack a different palette because these mattes are just too patchy. Like, I just, I struggle to work with them. Now, with this technique, it changed everything. I tried it with these. It worked. So, it definitely works on patchy shadows in general. This palette is actually, the, the Morphe palette is actually one that I've been using a ton lately and loving it ever since implementing this technique into my eyeshadow game. So I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Jamie and I upload beauty videos two to three times a week. I try to do three but oftentimes it's two but you know, I try. <laughs> but if you are not subscribed, I hope you will join us. I would love to have you as part of our fam. If you guys would like to see how to make any patchy eyeshadow blend like this, then keep on watching. Okay, so this is the 35M Boss Mood Palette from Morphe. And here's what it looks like. There is a sheet that sits on top with the names. 
And then here are the colors. Um, when I first looked at it, I was like, ooh, like I, I really love purples and I've been dying to play with greens, like olive greens. And like I'll have a palette that'll have like maybe one green color or a couple of green colors, but they're not like that olive I'm looking for, which is like this one. Oh, that is like, these two are like my dream olive shades. And then this shimmery guy right here is like everything. I love all the purple tones and then the warms right here are great. And then you can do like a bronzy look as well. So there's a lot of fun looks you can do in this palette. And as you can see, there's like just a lot of deep shades. The one thing I can say about the colors in this palette that, that I would have done differently is I just would have had like one or two lighter shimmer lid shades like the lightest one really is like these but this one's more of like a brow bone highlight this one's kind of this is a very chartreuse it's like a very specific color but something a little bit more neutral maybe like a a lighter champagne shimmery color because all of the lid shades in here with the exception of this one are like really dark so I mean, you're gonna, if you're gonna do a complete look with this palette, it's likely going to be smoky AF, which is nothing wrong with that. Now, that said, the colors are great. I loved the colors. But every time I applied these shadows, I had the worst looking blend of my entire existence. The mattes, I, I just, I tried and I tried and I tried, you guys, and I could not get the mattes in this palette to blend and I watched other people's videos and I saw them get it to blend and I just couldn't so I'm like is this my palette is this the formula like what's going on so I played with it a lot and I struggled the struggle was so so very real so as I mentioned I watched a, a video Belle Jordan had done and I watched her eyeshadow blending technique and I was like, that's an interesting technique. I want to try that. And I ended up trying it with this Boss Mood palette. And lo and behold, it was the best eye look I had created out of this palette uh, since getting it. So I was like, let me try doing that for this. And then I tried doing it for other patchy eyeshadow palettes. Like this one, which is one of my favorites. But the mattes in here are very patchy on their own. And this blue is still like coming apart. It just will not stay together no matter what I do. It's really, really sad because I still haven't used it. This blue. If you guys saw my, in one of my videos in the Wear My Makeup Wear, my first one, this literally like fell out whole all of my white rug. And I've put it back together like three times and it just keeps, I put rubbing alcohol and I can't get it to stay and that's frustrating. But anyway, the mattes in this palette are so patchy. So I tried the technique with this palette and it worked. So I'm going to show it to you today because I am convinced that this is how, this is the eyeshadow technique you need to know if you come across patchy shadows because it will really like change your blending game and allow you to use shadows that are patchy. Like, I if I wanna bring this palette on a trip or something, which now I can't because of that blue, but anyway, if I wanted to bring this on like a trip and I'm like, yeah, but the matte shades are so patchy, I have this technique in my back pocket so I can still bring it and use it. So I wanted to just share it with you guys today, like how I do it. So we're gonna get into it. All right, so for my brushes, the only brushes, these are the only brushes I'm gonna to use today. These two are gonna be for my lower lash line, so they don't count. So really, and this one here is the lid brush, so that doesn't count. So in order to get this blend, you need two brushes. This one that I'm using is the Il Maquillage Detailed Blending Brush, but lots of brands make brushes just like this. It's a little, it's pretty tapered, so it's thinner than a regular blending brush and it's a, 
a tiny bit more dense. Like, for example, this one is very fluffy, and this one is for the from the um, BH Royal Affair brush set. And this one's fluffy and much softer, and this one's just a tiny bit more dense. But it's small, so it can get into the crease really easily. So I really like using this one. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh, my bad. One more thing. You're going to take a fluffy brush. You're going to need one fluffy brush. So this shade here is called Peachy Keen. And what I've been doing with that is literally like buffing it out on the outer part of my lid. Just to have something there to blend into. I feel like this is kind of optional. Belle Jordan didn't do this in the technique she used, but I find it to be helpful just to have a little bit of something there. And you can use anything for this. You can use bronzer or you can use shadow, whatever you want. All right, so now I'm gonna go into that detailed shader brush and I'm going to be dipping into this shade here, which is called Green with Envy, I believe. Yes. And I'm just taking a good amount of product on my brush, tapping it off, and I'm just gonna start pressing it in. And the thing is, is you don't have to be super precise and you don't have to worry about blending. You're just simply laying down color where you want the color to be. So I want it to be out here a little bit and I'm just pressing it. And now I'm going to start pressing it right exactly in the crease where I want it to go. This kind of goes against everything that most of us usually do when we apply eyeshadow. We usually lay the transition shade down first, but I'm telling you, I tried that 15 different ways and could not get these shadows to blend. So when you have patchy shadows, sometimes you need to change things up a little. So don't worry about being neat or precise or anything like that. The only thing I would say is keep the color low into the crease. I wouldn't go too, too high with it. That's why I like using this brush specifically. Okay, so I basically just mapped out the shadow, uh, the shape on each eye. And I just loaded up as much color as I wanted because some of it is gonna get blended away and we're gonna have to just go back in and build. But for now, this is what we're working with. And then I'm going to go in to my color switch and I'm really gonna wipe off the brush like real good. Cause I don't want any of that green on the brush. So I am then going to go in to that peachy keen shade again and I am going to start stamping it right on, I'm kind of going, half of my brush is on the green and the other half is over the green. And I'm just stamping the color right over that line. Same way that I did with the green, I'm not really blending right now. I'm just pressing that color over. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but for my primer, I just used concealer. I used the MAC uh, 24 hour long wear concealer. All right, so once I have that color down on both 
eyes, I'm going to take the fluffy, the clean fluffy brush. It's very important that this brush is clean because you do not want to add any more color here. You're just going to kind of go over the top of where you laid that brown down and very lightly you're blending it in. And if anything, I would blend kind of towards down rather than out, but it's not imperative, I guess. It depends on the look you're going for. But you just want to buff that edge, those two colors, buff them together. Now, some of the color has gotten blended away. So this is when I will go back in this brush. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit more of Peachy Keen and I'm going to go over it one more time. Especially on this side. If you see any like patchiness, you can go over it and do it one more time. Okay, and so now I'm going to go into the color switch again, same brush, going back into that green, and I'm just going to now kind of go back and forth windshield wipers how I normally would if I was doing it in the other order. Sort of blending another layer of that color in just to make sure there's no patchiness at all. And just adding color where it might have been blended away. Because when you're working with patchy shadows, a lot of times when you go to blend, it's just a mess. You'll get like spots and holes and... Okay, now if you wanted to add like a third color, you still can do that. And I'll show you what I mean. So like, I might want to add a little bit of warmth to this look. So what I would do is, I would go into this shade here, which is called Fired Up this orange color and I wiped my brush off with color switch again by the way and tap off the excess and then I'm going to do exactly what I did with the peachy keen shade and I'm just applying it right over the line between those two shades I don't know if you can see like that just warmed it up and then I'm just going to go over top and blend. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick up just the like little added bit of warmth that that just gave. But like if you're, you know, if you're doing a look and you're like, but I want a third shade, it's totally fine. You can just add it on top and build it however you want. The other thing you can do if you're still seeing any patchiness up there, which I'm not. I think this blend looks really good considering how patchy these shadows are. You can take a whatever brush, just a little bit of a brow bone highlight. And I'm just going to take this, this one right here. This palette is so big, it's hard for me to even get it in the camera. And that shade is called Light of the Party. And you can just kind of put it as a brow bone highlight to sort of further blend out that edge. I didn't need to do that, but I was just, just to show you, just for the purposes of the video, it will also help you blend when things are patchy. You know what I'm thinking now in retrospect, now of course that I'm filming this, is what I should have done is show you the regular way that these shadows blend on one eye and how I'm doing this on the other eye. Boo. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna go in with the MAC pencil brush and the dark green color, and I'm just going to connect my lower lash line and the outer V. And then I'm going to take a kind of a bigger dome pencil brush and I'm going into Peachy Keen and I'm just going to blend that out all the way. I never get too precise on my lower lash line. I just like it to be a little messy. 
for my lid color, I am taking this flat brush from Alamar Cosmetics. And so I'm going in with this shimmery green shade, Electric Energy. And I will say that the shimmers in this palette are fantastic. I like them, personally. Um, it's the mattes that I struggled with. So it's just me. So I'm not going to cut the crease, but I'm going to pretend like I'm cutting the crease. So I'm just going to apply the shadow as if I was going to cut the crease. Same spot. And I'm going to paint it on kind of like I would concealer. So it's like a cheating a cut crease, kind of. It'll give me the effect without having to go through the drama and hassle. And these shimmers are pigmented enough to do it. And you can wet them or not. Either way. And like with every eyeshadow look that I ever do, I really hate when it's... I, I personally don't like when I only use two shades because, I don't know, I feel like a third shade just makes it look more seamless, more blended. So I just like to put a third shade right in between these two. So what I'm going to do is wipe off the brush and then I'm going to go in with the shade... Sheen Stealer, which is this shade here, and it's kind of like a green brown. Like, it's not brown and it's not green, it's somewhere in between, but it's the perfect, perfect shade for this spot right here because it does pull green for sure, but it has a hint of brown in it, so it's a little deeper. And it just makes everything blend perfect. Got some fallout, gotta deal with. Okay, so I'm gonna pop some of that brow bone color into my inner corner here. And I feel like the star of this look when I wore it in my last, in my Lancome video, I had taken just a kiss from this palette which if you guys don't know it's this gold color right here this one and I just took a hint of that and this is a very sheer color but it's like just a kiss of sparkle so I just kind of put it right on top and it just made the green pop so much I'm obsessed and I feel like doing this, doing that, adding that color just makes all of the difference. Okay, so I am not doing liner. I'm just going to throw on some lashes and I will be right back to show you the final look. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. For my lip, I used L'Oreal Color Reach Matte It and the lipstick is Butter London Plush Rush Lipstick in Lovely. That's my lip combo. For my lashes, I used the Kiss Blowout Lashes in the style Beehive, which I don't know, they are my favorite right now. I don't know why I was sleeping on these. The Every time I wear these lashes, I feel like I have a good makeup day. And I don't know why I don't wear them more, but I'm obsessed. Anyway, this is the finished look, finished makeup look. And I feel like my eyeshadow looks awesome. Like it looks really good. Like I think it looks blended and I think this all looks really good. I think it looks blended. It doesn't look super patchy. Like I'm telling you guys, it was the struggle was so real with this palette. Like I could not get a decent blend of any of the shadows. And so I didn't like the palette, but now I love the palette because I figured out this technique and that it really works with patchy eyeshadows. So I hope that this helps you if you have any palettes that you know are kind of more patchy than others and you want to use them because you like them but you know they're patchy. I recommend trying this technique and if you do, leave me a comment let me know what you think. Did it work for you? Did you find it helpful? And if you have any tips for dealing with patchy eyeshadows, 
leave that in the comments also. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. Follow me on social. My handle is at Glam Latte. And don't forget to check out the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast. All the details are in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.